Happy Sunday, people. So a good friend and I were talking this week about liberating ourselves, expanding, right, from the traditional concept and the confines of prayer, i.e. where we only verbally communicate with God, the one who knows everything, is everything, and is in everything, but yet we continue to do most of the talking. And so that conversation reminded me of the fact that in the practice of law, we as lawyers will generally include at the end of our applications to the court what's traditionally referred to as a prayer. It's the one thing that you actually want the court to do on your client's behalf. And so extrapolating from that framework, is it possible then that every time that you and I, practically speaking, advocate, stand on behalf of someone else, we're actually offering a prayer when we seek, when we knock, when we ask, can that action then become a prayer on behalf of those who are not in a position to take the action for themselves? Prayer then becomes a verb. As we concluded, it becomes the combination of both your faith and your action in line with what we already know to be the will of God. And that is precisely how we manifest the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. It is how we eradicate the misalignment between what was intended and what actually is. And so as you step into your new week, here's an invitation to consider, to reconsider and possibly expand, right? Your definition of prayer. It's a call to action to regularly exit your prayer closet and to actually practice Practically go out there, go seek, go knock, go ask on behalf of someone else to ensure that God's will on earth is done as it is in heaven. Those are my thoughts of the day. Do with them as you will. Blessings.